always see the sun, always see the night. They say they want a real one, they say they want a real one to make them feel young. Hey, what's good, family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another, another, another video. Today, we're actually gonna be doing something different. I saw that Palace actually did a lookbook for spring 2021, and I did wanna go ahead and cover it for you guys. As you can see, I am in front of the green screen, so it's gonna just make things a little bit or a lot a bit more simple. Right here, I'm on the Palace website, and without any further ado, if y'all doing up enjoying this video, man, slap a fat like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content. Let me know what kind of videos you would like me to make in the comments as well. For a little while, my Final Cut Pro was messed up. I was a little screwed up, but yo, listen, we are back, folks. Trust me, we're back, and I'm about to go hard. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a like on this video. And without any further ado, man, let's go ahead and get straight to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Spring 2021 lookbook and just look through this. Honestly, I'm not going to be too critical. I don't even talk about Palace that often, but it's just something that I always do love and I never go for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about it. And if I do end up enjoying some of these pieces, I'll probably end up even making live cops on this. We got this palace beanie, which is actually a banger off the gate. I do think that the beanie right here is actually fire. I love the way that the lightning is on it. It looks like it's embroidered too. fire. We got like a balaclava with a palace thing around the front. I think normally I wouldn't even go for this. I have a couple from Supreme, but realistically I never wear them shit. So I wasn't even gonna debate on nothing like that from here on out but considering the fact that it's rona still like literally still has been like a year almost this is something that i might end up picking up this is actually clean it says palace all across the front and it almost works as a face mask too the jacket homie's wearing is fire that trifurg is just so simple and it's so clean it almost looks like a polar tech hoodie we also do have a couple more pieces right here they're wilding with this one i think the hat is part of the jacket like where you going with that my mans I don't know. I definitely don't know on this one. If you could remove the brim on this, it'll be all right. But like, nah, we good on that, folks. This is actually not that bad. It reminds me of like a vintage polo. One of those polo shirts from Ralph Lauren that has like a big ass patch on the back. That's kind of what this gives me right here. The Infinity Palace logo is actually not that bad. But the main thing I'm looking for in this picture right here is that jacket. That cargo jacket is fire, bro. That is actually a banger in my opinion. Let's go ahead and hop. What are you doing? Bro, homie looked like the dude from Home Alone, like with the little flaps and shit. Like, I don't know where he's going with that. And then the palace, I don't know what is going on with Palace Cooper over here. He kind of tripping. This is literally a jean vest, folks. A jean vest. I don't know when the last time I saw some shit like that was, but I'm definitely about to leave that right there. Let's just give a shout out to homie with the hat right here. Terrible. That shit is tragic. That piece is literally ass. We got this... I don't even know what it is. I guess it's like a work jacket, if I'm not mistaken, with like this little fucking Italia Ferrari looking ass hat on him. Definitely not that bad as far as the work jacket goes, but I just think that this is awesome shit that I would skip on. So I'm gonna do that right now. We got a couple more, bro. Why is there a pigeon on homie's shoulder? Like, yo, Palace's pictures are low key better than Supreme as far as the lookbook goes, but this Palace hat is not that bad. The Palace button up is not that bad as well. I kind of am a fan of that. What? I'll take that back. I don't know if those are like flies on the back of this sweater or like bird shit. I don't know what's going on on this piece. It looked cool from a distance, but then when you like zoom in, it's like, what is that? I think those are like mosquitoes or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think that is. I'm going to definitely just leave that right there. I right, see now the Italia Ferrari looking hat looks way better up close. It almost has like different badges on it in a way. You got the Route 66 logo, the Canadian like stamp logo, I guess you would call it, the maple leaf. There's a palace rose and there's just a bunch of different things going on on this one. There's also a crew neck that homie's wearing, which I think that I possibly would just skip on in general. We have like this puffy jacket, which also has the palace on the side. I feel like when it comes to palace, there's a lot of items that you can just buy for the personal. I don't know exactly how the market is as far as resale goes for palace, but I do think that the pieces that they come Come out with our fire homie is back with the ear flap hat shout out to the ear flap hat but this like half zip or quarter zip 
pullover i guess it would be called isn't that bad i kind of do like the placement on the branding on the front it's tonal as well which is actually a pretty cool thing i think this is actually fleece material i don't know if this is something that i would pick up the pants are actually kind of fire with that cargo pocket on the front i love pants that have the cargo pockets but not on the side when they're on the front it's actually way better these are a clean pair of pants i'd probably get them like in a navy blue or a black knowing me we got the palace gatorade i feel like this is actually clean a really nice play on the gatorade design and logo even the beanie is fire i've never seen cargo pockets on a beanie that's low-key like a stash pocket or something like that the beanie's actually a banger i love the branding on it the little pockets on the side you just can't go wrong with this piece honestly we got the Palasonic, which is supposed to be like Panasonic branding right here. This is actually not that bad. Once again, it's just a regular tee, depending on the price, because Palace be taxing on the price. We do got the little bear on it with the cub and shit. Not that bad, but this like button up with the Palace on the back is dookie, bro. Like I'm not, that's not for me. That's just not for me. It's cool. We got like this baseball script logo almost on the front of this hoodie this is actually not that bad i'm interested to see what the other colors look like but this one does look like a banger i don't know if the rings that he's wearing are gonna be palace because normally they drop some accessories as well but i don't know as far as that goes we got the p hat hopefully they make a fit it with the p on it i've been into fitteds like crazy lately so if they make a fit it with the p on it it's game time bro the dude is back with the fitted jacket like you could tell that he's not trying to wear this shit. look at his face just look at his face. He's not trying to wear this jacket. Why is there a hat on a jacket? Like you can make it two separate pieces. Why together? Like, just let me know why, just why? How would you even cinch this shit? Like, like what if it's raining and you cinch it up and the brim is just like these, like, I don't know. It's just a little bit too much. I don't know where they were going with that, but they did not do that correctly. I don't know. This chenille palace logo on the back of this crew neck is actually fire though not gonna lie i'm interested in some of the other colorways they'll possibly be dropping this crew neck is a banger i like this crew neck a lot i feel like it has like that greek history to it if that makes sense even the hat that he's wearing right here is a banger it's almost like a cargo hat i feel like that's a big thing this season apparently they're doing like a lot of cargo beanies and shit this is fire this jacket right here with like the openable zip pocket cover i guess is not that bad i do like like the branding on it. it has like a little palace under it it looks like it could be a puffy coat but it's not which is even better because you could wear this in springtime not a bad piece whatsoever the hat he's wearing gotta go and homie right here in the fuchsia you could just tell that he he's getting the worst pieces bro i feel bad for homie right here he got a t-rex on his corduroy button up like <laughs> i don't know like oh this is fire this like digital camo is fire supreme did something similar to this with the camo if i'm not mistaken Mistaken. correct me if i'm wrong but i do like this like triferg on it and this might even be the jacket that we saw in this picture this jacket it might be this because if you look at the portion like up there somewhere it has like that little same thing around the pocket if that makes sense i don't know maybe i'm just tripping the pants for this is probably gonna be fire too yo this is what i saw on instagram and this piece right here is nuts this is actually fire what did i just do Oh, I'm tripping. This chenille like patchwork hoodie is a problem, bro. This is definitely a banger. I feel like if there's one piece that I pick up this whole season, it'll be this right here. This hoodie is a banger. I don't know how I feel about the hood on it, but I think I could get over that. The actual colors on the patchwork that's going on with the cream, the light gray, that dark gray is just beautiful. Definitely love this piece right here. And then he gets the LL Cool J bucket hat. Like, I don't know who paired it this is a fire picture he got like the bbc ice creams going on but it looks like it's palace so we might be seeing some kicks coming out from palace then you got like these boot cut ass pants with like this lady on it and a p hoodie on her not that bad we got another adidas collab so you can see right here on dude's shirt there's an adidas palace collab coming out again I think these sneakers aren't that bad. I just got to see them more on feet. This hoodie is another banger. I feel like this is something that you see one of those low key brands on Instagram that are trying to come up make. And I feel like they executed pretty well. They didn't do it in blue, which is the traditional color when it comes to lightning. I do like the red and how the lightning is leading into the palace letters. Definitely clean in my opinion. We also got this other hoodie, which has once again, cargo pockets on it. Not that bad, but we got the same lady that was on the pants 
pants right here in front of this palace like dad hat it's cool it's cool it's cool i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hate on it but it's all right we got this denim jacket with the palace sonic on it I think this is actually one of the best twists they've done from what I've seen so far. This Palasonic logo is a banger. If I see it on a tee, I'm probably going to pick it up. I feel like I saw it on a tee low key, but these pants are fire too. The pants are fire, bro. What can I say? They got a lot of heat and then they got this, bro. Who in the design team said, yo, that hat with the flap? Let's get it, bro. What even is that at the bottom? It got like a little toggle on it or something. That's problematic. This knit sweater is fire then the dude on yo this might be the best item like this vintage inspired jacket is crazy is crazy then you got the pants to match that's fire this is probably one of my favorite pieces alongside that patrick piece this is something that whenever it drops if i see that it's dropping i'm going for this right here whether it's the shorts or the jacket both are equally as fire that knit piece is something that you could pull off if you wear something fancier like some khakis or some shit i think you could pull that off this bomber jacket isn't that bad. I just don't feel like bomber jackets are that in anymore. This isn't that bad of a piece. Homie finally took off the flap hat. Let's just clap it up for homie without the flap hat. Doing his thing. But yo, I think this is the last picture low key. Yeah, that's pretty much the lookbook, bro. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments below. I feel like this video was mad quick. Maybe I'm tripping. There's a couple pieces in here that were actually fire. That thunder, like, same thing as this beanie right here, but the hoodie was fire. That patchwork hoodie was fire. That jacket that we just saw a little bit ago, a banger. Definitely need that. There's actually some sick items in here. There's also that cargo pocket hidden in the mist looking ass jacket that one was pretty fire too all right but yo that's pretty much it let me know what y'all thought in the comments below what's your favorite piece on the palace lookbook let me know if you would like to see more palace content as well whether it's a live cop drop list anything you would like to see i could go ahead and slap it up here and it could be a quick little video for y'all just let me know in the comments what you would like to see but with all that being said man i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one if you enjoyed this though before we get out smash the like button on this video man subscribe down below because we definitely need that right now i feel like i've been slacking on my pimping but we about to be back i promise y'all i'm coming stronger than ever there's a lot to be done a lot to be said and i'm about to say that shit let's go ahead and get straight to it but with all that being said man i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out they say they want a real one, they say they want a real one to make them feel young.